first of all, what we're seeing is white knuckle terror amongst some of these uh, CEOs. So we've seen some some very big numbers. Uh, we had had on the the news wires this morning over 14 percent wage hikes at, uh, at Nippon Steel. We've seen particularly in the, uh, the the restaurant sector a number of companies giving 10, 11, 12 percent uh, wage hikes. So they're very very large now. It's a common mistake to say, ah, oh, the big companies are getting it, but the small companies aren't. And that's been the case for a, a few decades. There's a, a wide difference between the increases at large companies and small. Why is that? I, for a while, I couldn't understand it. I saw how much tighter supply and demand was with small companies than with, with large, and yet it was the large companies giving the bigger pay hikes. And the unions explained to me, ah, it's like this. The, the small companies haven't been able to hire anybody for a long time, so they've got a high average age. In Japan, your wages go up mostly because of your ability to get older. Uh, and so if you have got a very uh, um, high age uh, group of people uh, uh, as employees, then the wage hikes will be small. That's the main reason why small companies are getting uh, smaller wage hikes. But we have a serious problem in Japan now. So we're seeing... Um, take Oka Data Bank, for example, was showing uh, increase in uh, bankruptcies resulting from not being able to get enough employees just to do the, uh, the business. So co companies are faced with a real problem now. Do we hike or do we uh, have not enough employees to, uh, uh, to do the job? Uh, and this situation is only going to get worse. So Japan's uh, working age population has dropped by 15.3% since March of 95, and it's accelerating downwards. So you remember, I've been banging the table at, um, at the beginning of last year saying wages will surprise to the upsides, and they did. So the, the unions got 3.6%, whereas the previous year it was only 2.1%. Um, and yet the, the economists were saying, ah, that's just a one-off. And I say, what is it about the supply and the demand that makes you think that this is a one-off? We've got a, um, a, an increasing rate of um, decline in the working age population. And sure enough, they've come round to my way of thinking, which says this year is going to get significantly higher wage hikes than, uh, than last year. Right, and they're, they're, you know, they're trying to double you know, foreign workers coming or skilled foreign workers coming into Japan. They're, they're trying a, a raft of measures. But it, I take everything that you say on board. But because of those structural problems that you're talking about when it does come to SMEs, are we going to see them further cannibalised? Because even if you do have the, the older workforce in these SMEs, they're, they're still critical to the employment environment in Japan. Because... If they're not getting paid more, and everyone else is, that just creates an even wider yawning gap of divergence, and then it has also consumption implications as well. OK. Um, first of all, you mentioned uh, immigration. Now, the immigration isn't the country is keeping people out of the country. It's the other way around. Japanese wages, particularly at uh, uh, 147, 150 to the dollar, are way too puny for people to come in here. So I had a, a foreign CEO saying to me 18 months back, I can hire Japanese engineers for less than they're costing me in Vietnam. This is the problem with it, the real problem. As for the small companies, what we have had for the last 25, 30 years or so of my, my time in this, this industry is the government doing everything it can to try and maintain employment. And so it's given massive tax breaks to companies to try and bribe them to maintain employment. And now, with the, the tightening uh, labour market, we're allowed getting the, the beauty, the, uh, the benefits um, of Schumpeter working his magic. So some of these companies won't be able to hike the wages because they're not profitable enough. Uh, and by all means, go ahead and die. The, the economy doesn't need these companies. It's now able to do a, a shakeout and get rid of the, uh, the inefficient companies that don't have the wherewithal to pay. But most companies have put pay sideways while um, profits have gone shooting up over the last uh, 10 years particularly.